moose attacks. Yeah. Moose attacks. Because there would be points. Moose attacks. So this episode, we're going extreme. As you said, let's do an extreme sport. <laughs> and it was not easy finding an extreme sport that had, like, a cool story. So what I found was a very extreme sport, a very uh, an endurance sport. Uh, this is a sport that will go for two weeks. The event is a two-week-long event. They uh, travel yeah. about a thousand miles. Oh, okay, <laughs> you, okay. Are you? Are you? Yeah, extreme cameling. Yeah. So th- yeah, there. That that's a, that's a that's that's very smart. It's animal related. They're, they they use animals shit. as part of part of this uh, endurance Ooh, race. Damn. It's in Alaska. Okay. Okay. Oh, I, 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 I did a run on that. Yep. The I did a rod. I did a rod. We're talking about the I did a rod today. Oh, Balto. <laughs> Lovable losers, they losers. You love them. Having conversations, maybe drinking beers. Lovable, lovable, lovable losers. So we established our event that we're gonna be covering today is the That's I did a rod. That's dope. Thousand mile dog sled race. Through the Alaskan wilderness. Um, uh, the rules miles. are you have between seven and 14 dogs. 14, yeah. obviously. <laughs> yeah, you you would do as many as possible. Yeah. So you could kind of I'd have 20. Out, right? <laughs> Stack them. So you don't work them so hard, yeah. you know? Rotate. So we're going to talk about a legend in this sport. And her name is Susan Butcher. Ooh. <laughs> yep. Her? <laughs> So Susan Butcher was born in 1954 in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Okay, okay. Cambridge is basically Boston. You know, she basically oh, grew up okay. in Boston. You know? I, I didn't know any. I don't know Cambridge. But then she got, you know, away from the city as soon as possible. Um, went to Colorado and then eventually found her way to Alaska. Um, I've known some people like that. Yep. They're like, they totally could survive out there. And they just flock there. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's and it's like that's part of their personality. Like they're migrating geese. Yep. Or meese. Meese. Mooses. Moose. Nice. nice. Mo- moose geeses. 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 The geese and the moose. Autobiography. Her first attempt at the Iditarod was in 1978. Oh, okay. So five years later. So she was 24. Yeah. Or going to turn 24 later that year. Golly! Yeah, so she was 23, I guess, the first time. Oh, she ran. nobody likes you when you're 23. <laughs> yep. Oh, man. But see, she's just like, fuck it. I'm just going to take my dogs. Yeah. And yeah. I'm going to beat all these motherfuckers. How many people? In 1973, the first ever I did a ride, there was 34 started and 22 finished. Oh, okay. Susan Butcher, her first I did a ride, 1978. And her last I did a ride was in 1994. Goodness. The only time she finished out of the top 10 was in 1978. Her first attempt, she finished 19th place, but she finished, you know. But every other time, she was in the top 10. Goodness. Did she ever come in number one? She absolutely did. Hey! (laughs) Coming up later. (laughs) This is where a typical commercial from our sponsors would air. But we have yet to find our match. Relationship building is difficult. We don't want to jump in bed with anyone. It would be dreadful to wake up with the lumpy pillow guy. Back to the show. 78, she finished 19th. 79, she finished 9th. 80, 5th. 81, 5th. 82 and 84, she finished 2nd. Woo! And 83, she finished 9th. Oh. There might have been a storm or something. In 1980, she finished 5 minutes behind the guy that won the year before. She finished in fifth place. The guy, that guy went his, finished fourth place. So she finished like just five minutes behind the guy. And so she's basically fourth place too. Yeah, yeah. And in uh, 1982, she uh, finished three minutes and 53 seconds behind second place. <laughs> she was second place to a man, uh, Rick Swenson. Oh, who later went on to open up Swenson's ice cream. Yeah, famously. Yeah. In 1985, she and her pack of dogs were attacked by a crazed moose that just came charging at him and started stomping the dogs. No, yeah. Shit. yeah. So three of her dogs were killed and 13 oh. were injured. And uh, so yeah. 
Well, that's all of her dogs then. Yeah, yeah. Injured it, at least or dead. Yeah, she you know she probably had the ability to still race in the Iditarod, but I think it was a she, she bow she, out. Yeah, she she well, characterized it as the, the a, dogs. Yeah, a period of mourning. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god! Well, good. Yeah. She's not a monster. <laughs> Later in 1985, she got married to another dog sled racer named uh, David Monson. I bet he helped her heal. Yeah. That's yeah. all I got for that. It, it feels like that was like mm-hmm. a, it's an interesting point in her life because there was a breakthrough after that. She won three of the next four I did rods. I was just about to ask, did she race the next year? Yeah. Yeah. She won. And she won it? Yeah. She won in 86, 87, oh. 88, and 90. Three in a row. That's right after the dog's. See if they were able to break their ethereal plane and come back and help her win those next three years. She had some guardian angels. She had some guardian angels. Yeah. Awesome story about the name of her first kid. What is it? She named it after a, a dog of hers. Oh. There was shit. this dog named Tekla, and she tells a story about oh. how this dog kept trying to push her to this direction, push her this direction, push her to this direction. Huh. And she finally was like, okay, let's go this direction. The water, like, they would have went into ice and definitely would have died. Oh, shit. Over the, a the frozen dog, lake? Yeah, the dog diverted them away from imminent death. Oh, they know. And so her firstborn child is named Tekla for okay. that, that dog that saved her life. Oh, yeah. yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah, then they're totally guardian <laughs> angels. Yeah, they're... <laughs> Ugh, I don't even believe I don't know in if, that. I don't know if Tekla was around in the 85 event or not. I, I'm not sure, but that was like a, a cool little story that I saw in this interview. That, that she that was a different, well, probably yeah. it had already died and come back to her again as yeah. a different dog, and then it died and... Came, yeah. Maybe, yeah, maybe... Um, all dogs go to heaven. The first two races, she had the same two lead dogs, a dog named Granite and Maddie. Mm. And then in the third race, Granite was also her lead dog, and the other dog's name was Tolstoy. Tolstoy. Yeah. So, War and Rick peace. Swenson finished second in 87 and 88. Suck it. Yeah, four hours behind the one time and about a, a day behind the second time. Golly. So not <laughs> even like close. Yeah. Oh, and, and she's finishing these. Uh, 86 was 11 days and 15 hours. Oh. 87 was 11 days and two hours. 88 wow. was 11 days and 11 hours. And 90 was 11 days and one hour. Ooh, that was and the fastest time. Her last win was her fastest it time. It was a record. She set the record. She set the record, her first one, 11 days and two hours. And, and then, then she beat it. Broke, broke her own record. Has yeah. anybody beaten that record? Yeah, it's down to eight hours now. Good God. Yeah. Soup no, Eight days. Sorry, like, eight days. Yeah. <laughs> eight but, hours. <laughs> you got a genuine reaction to that. You can use that. Yeah. He had 417 dogs. <laughs> No, it's just like seven bull. Oh, there's a knock at the door. Look, it's Bulldog House Mom and I Did Rod Enthusiast, Pam Stevens. Oh, hi, Pam. Oh, hello there. Me uh, and my five kids are coming here. We're, we're here to watch the I Did Rod here. Oh, okay. Oh, you betcha. That's great, Pam. I'm, I'm really excited to see you. Tell me your five kids' names. Oh, we got Carl. 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 Steve. Steve. Carl. 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 And but, Pam Jr. And Pam Jr. How did I miss? So that you have six children? Oh, five Carls, a Steve, and a Pam. Oh, I, I think I, I think I, uh, six Carls and two Pams. Six Carls, Seven. two Pams, and a Steve. Was Seven Steve kids. adopted? Because he looks adopted. Oh, you betcha. Yeah. Uh, Ten oh two. Every two minutes, another runner goes. Really? Oh, it's so exciting. Yeah. Hey, Pam. Yeah. A moose just took one of your Carls. Oh no. That's my favorite Carl. Yeah, it was a oh, cute looking God, Carl know. there. Whoa, Millie. That moose almost hit me. Fucking thing crazy. In in it. Sorry, I'm not sure what came over me. Lovable Losers is brought to you by Swenson's Ice Cream in Nome, Alaska. Have the granite approved ice cream mush puppies today. And as always, no moose. Now back to Eric and Brian. After the four out of five years, she finishes third, second, fourth, and then tenth in 1994. 1994 is her last attempt at the I Did Rod, or last, you know, okay. last go at the I Did Rod. And she retires from competition in 1995. So that year, that year was so much. She was probably, like, obsessed with Michael Jordan at the time. Yeah. And just wanted to follow him on the road. 
<laughs> and gave up. I did a rotting. Yep. I did a rotting. Uh, I did a rottery. I I I did I didry. I didry. It it did it did it did So she retired from competition in '95. Her kids were born around the turn of the century. Susan Butcher passed away in 2006 of leukemia. Wow. Uh, had about a, a year battle with it. 2007, she was one of the first uh, inductees into the Alaska Sports Hall of Fame. Dope. The ele- the inaugural class. As the March of 2008, they declared the first Saturday of every March, Susan Butcher Day. Susan Butcher Day. I, I you celebrate that. You made a cake last year. I know. Yeah. It's, for Susan. It's a it's a, it's a a holiday that you should celebrate. Everyone should. And you know what the first Saturday of every March is? It's the day the Iditarod starts. Oh, well, that makes sense. Yeah. So Susan Butcher Day is Iditarod Day. The Iditarod start day is Susan Butcher Day now. Mm. And since 2008 and forever on, it'll be called Susan Butcher Day, the day nice. that the Iditarod starts. It's like uh, school used to start on uh, Labor Day or whatever it was. Like, they used those holidays. Yeah. The, the, the Iditarod. <laughs> Starts on Susan Day. So that's the story. Of that was extreme. Susan Butcher. Yeah, yeah, she was extreme. Yeah, an extreme athlete. Yeah. Uh, a legend in this sport that until two days ago, I didn't really know much about. <laughs> I would be terrified to even watch because at any moment, a moose could attack me. What are we going to do for our next episode? Ooh, okay. Well, you. I said extreme. You brought me extreme. I want an old, familiar name with a new light shined on them. Okay. Lovable losers, they losers, you love them. Having conversations, maybe drinking beers, lovable.